Hello from TackleTrading.com. This is Coach G again with a follow-up video from the first video. This is video number two of three. This is actually constructing the contingent bracket order, which I call the stop bracket. As you remember in the first video, we had a setup here with a swing low on a stock. We're using KMX as an example. And what we did is we set up an order that if the stock was to break above our trigger point here, it will put us into long calls. And then after those calls are filled, a stop trigger, so if the stock breaks the stop trigger on the downside, it would have us exit those calls. So to set up that bracket order, it's pretty simple. It's a custom bracket order you can set up. Once again, just to show you what we did, we right clicked on here, we went to buy custom, and then there's my stop bracket right there. And see how it's automatically set up for you? The green line on top, that is your entry order. That's when it's going to actually trigger to buy the options. And the red bar on bottom, that is your stop trigger. So if the stock drops below, that's your exit. So the top bar, again, is your entry. The bottom is your exit. I'm going to delete this and show you how to set up that template. It doesn't matter which option you pick to set up the template. Just right click on the ask, on the ask price and hit buy single and in case you didn't know you can also just left click on the ask and it'll do the same thing now down here in the left hand corner where it says advanced order switch that to first triggers sequence first trigger sequence then come back up to your order anywhere in this green here right click and click with a left click create opposite order so it's doing the exact opposite. The one on top is having you buy at strike price. And the one on the bottom is having you sell. Now leave the contracts at one. When we're done with this template that we're building here, this is the only thing you're need, gonna need to change is the quantity of contracts. And over here on the little sprocket, this is where you put your triggers. We're gonna change this to market on both. Now you can use a day or good to cancel on your entry order. I use a day because I don't want to be forgetting about my trades two weeks from now and getting triggered on a trade I forgot about. So for me, I'll do this as a day order if I'm expecting it to trigger the next day. And you can place these on the weekend or after hours. That's what makes these convenient. Now on your exit, that's always good to cancel. The rules we follow at Tackle Trading, our stops are always good to cancel. There, so there you go, that's it. Now to save this template, go down here to the little save icon. It'll say save custom order template. Left click that once. Backspace over these words right here. I'm gonna call that my stop bracket. In fact, I'm gonna call it contingent bracket just to make it easier. There you go. And hit save. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go up here. So when I'm ready to place an order, I know what my trigger points are. I just go to the option I want, right click, go back to buy custom, and there's my contingent bracket I just created. Left click it once. There it is. Everything's good to go. You don't have to worry about the market or limit. All that stuff's done. You just put in your quantity. And make sure you put the same quantity on the exit, so you don't getting you're getting in the same number of contracts when you trigger in that you're getting the same number when you trigger out. Then you go over here and put your contingencies and your your trigger price will be right there. You save that and then put your trigger price over here for your exit. Just like we did in the first video. So there you have it custom made template that makes life easy for setting up your contingent orders after hours. Once again, this is Coach G with TackleTrading.com. See you next video.